welcome to my channel. I'm the cool Bex, where I do all the cool things. That was so cringy. <laughs> Hello! Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I posted. Lots going on. If you want to know my opinions and my thoughts about recent events, it's in the description below. But today's video is about changing my old clothes, clothes I've had since high school that I am fixing, cropping, sewing, something that I still would be okay going out in public wearing. All right, so we're gonna get started. So let's check out this first hot pink top. All right, so this is my first shirt. I folded it to a length that I liked, marked it with a pencil, and then pulled out our old sewing machine that we have not used in many years. It was covered in dust. So then I found a color that somewhat matched with the shirt, and then my mom sat me down and tried to explain how to use the sewing machine. It was way more complicated than I thought it was gonna be. So I learned that this was called the bobbin, and you put this at the bottom of the sewing machine, like so. <laughs> um, and then I found the pencil mark, measured it out with my finger, cut slightly under that to factor in a little bit of room for the seam allowance, which was almost a complete waste because as you can tell, I just go for it and cut up the whole thing and it's super crooked. <laughs> all right, so here's where it goes wrong. I fold the whole thing, pin it all, so it's easier for me to use the machine, and boy, does that go wrong. Um, check out my hem. Yeah, really good. I was trying to sew straight. I'm not even joking. <laughs> So I cut this with a seam ripper and had to redo the entire shirt by hand because I knew I was not going to get the results I wanted using the sewing machine, therefore causing me to do the whole process all over again. And it felt like it took years. Anyway, this is the final result. Next up, stripey shirt. This shirt was way too long, very boxy, so I wanted to cut it. I counted out how many stripes was just the right length, and then I tucked it to make sure it looked right, and then I just took scissors to the middle of the white line. Then with the excess material, I made a really creepy French mime infinity scarf. And here's a clip where I think I'm successfully using reverse psychology on my sister. Go get her watermelon. I want it. You're giving her watermelon? <laughs> I was just editing through this and you can totally tell what I'm thinking at this moment. Okay, so back to the sewing portion. I pinned everything and I started using the machine and unfortunately, it broke. I cannot catch a break. My mom tried to fix it, looked over it. We couldn't figure it out, so we had to completely scratch using the sewing machine and use a needle and thread. So here I am uh, with a lot of trial and error and hand stitched the entire shirt. Now the screen shirt was the easiest project out of all of the shirts. I quickly folded it to a length that I liked. I also wanted to trim the sleeves. There was already a preset seam there, which you can see. I marked it with a pencil, 
cut it straight through the middle and then use that to measure out a straight line because I learned from trial and error. <laughs> I also folded it to make sure that the lines were correct and even cut off the sleeves right next to the hem and here's the before and after. And here is the last top. I wanted to save this shirt so much because I loved the sleeves. So I folded it to a length that I liked. And then I cut it down the side to kind of control the way I wanted the shirt to flow. So I cut across straight in the front and curved it in a circle in the back. Sewing it was kind of difficult, but I made it work and check out these stitches. Oh yeah, Sean Mendes would be so proud. Everyone's lining up to see She's a Mona Lisa. And once more, look at that seam. So good. Thanks for watching guys. See you later. Bye. Find the beauty goes with It's like Yeah, look at what it, this thing is doing. Look at this. I didn't I just tried to sew a tiny little bit. What is that? Five or six Ooh. lines. That was not That's a mess. Yeah, but I Over video, voiceover format. So here we go. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa.